Sup fam, today we are going to be opening up some old school epic Yu-Gi-Oh packs, no cap. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm not kidding about these epic packs. Check it out, today we are going to be cracking another Raging Battle Special Edition display. We're searching for some more first ed packs folks, some more funky 5Ds packaging. Along with those, as you can see probably by the thumbnail, we're also going to be opening up some epic Duelist Revolution packs. Before we get started, a little announcement there is going to be a giveaway today not these guys but we are going to be giving away one ots pack 15 but this guy is actually going to be opened up for you guys or for one of you guys all you have to do leave a comment let me know you're joining the live stream and of course join the live stream which is taking place on saturday we're going to be opening up a couple more epic booster boxes but before we do that without further ado let's jump into today's opening yes of course the members usually get first access to packs, but if you want to join a live stream, you are more than welcome to. You don't have to be a member to join, but you do get a membership discount. So if you're interested, membership program is linked in the description. But if not, if you just want to get some packs, let me know. Shark Racken. But of course, we have to start the day off with some Zexal packs, some epic Lord of the Tachyon Galaxies. Actually, might as well mention, we're going to be opening some more Generations Force, Return of the Duelist, and of course, a first edition Storm of Ragnarok blister pack. We're actually going to be opening up a couple of those guys, so stay tuned for that. Here we go. Next pack of LTGY. Sorry to leave you guys hanging there. Mid pack opening. I am actually thinking of starting, um, like I said, I was talking about doing Yu Gi Oh! shorts, but I'm also thinking of starting. Uh, Possibly doing some stuff on TikTok, some more, uh, uh, just just getting myself out there. You know, more platforms. Want to want to grow the Yu Gi Oh brand. Want to make you guys proud. This epic community we have built. Really, I'm just I'm just hopping on to the the awesome Yu Gi Oh Yu Gi Oh community. Very welcoming, very understanding, and uh, yeah, supportive. So thank y'all. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for supporting myself. And for, uh, for making this happen. Here we go, though. Return of the Duelist. A ghost rare we've already pulled, but I'd love to pull that ultimate rare cover card. Or Madoshe Puddingsis ultimate rare. That is probably the uh, the big pull card from here. So here we go. Can we pull an ulti? Let's see. I actually haven't pulled too many ultis from Radu. Ooh, no way! Are you kidding me? Right off the bat, on cue, Madolce Pudding says, but only the ultra rare. But was this guy reprinted, or girl? Was this girl reprinted recently? I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments if she was. But not too shabamo of a start. Again, would love that in ultimate rare. Now we're going to be jumping into some first edition Generations Force. And you know the goal here, guys. One of those epic hero cards would be unreal. Or, of course, that number 17, Leviathan Dragon Ghost Rare. Hunting for more Ghost Rares this week on Yui Mozi. <laughs> My voice is still gone. I'm still, still, still getting back there, guys. All right, here we go. Can we pull a hollow, at least, from Generations Force? The first pack of Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. Ooh, it looks like we have one. We do... And it is a fusion monster. I thought that was going to be Nova Master, but it's a pretty good one nonetheless. Vision Hero Trinity. Some epic hero cards in this set. It was really weird seeing it right after Masked Hero Goka. All right, now back to Return of the Duelists before we jump into that 5Ds fun. Also, if you guys want to get in on, again, the, some of the live streams, we are doing some of the packs that we have available. Absolute Power Force. Full case, we've opened three boxes, still no Ghost Rare has been pulled, as well as Generations Force, some of these guys, but uh, not first edition. Unlimited European print booster boxes, so have some of those available. And no Hollow here, unfortunately, for Redu. Along with that, though, we are also on the push, on the march for 3,000 subscribers, folks. Not only are we going to be opening up a first edition 5Ds booster box, Absolute Power Force, but I have, uh, I have something special that I might reveal for you guys. So, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We're close. We're gaining. We're gaining on 3,000 subscribers. So here we go. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice. 
We have an ultimate rare, and it is a spell card, folks. You know what that means. It could be a hero lives. Let us deduce what's in the caboose. I know I used that two weeks in a row or two videos in a row, but it's an epic, epic pun. Thanks, Gyarados Freak. Oh, Wonder Wand! So close! This is the only other spell card ultimate rare, I believe, so it's pretty much if you if you have an ultimate rare spell, you're gonna get one of those. Unfortunately, we didn't pull that Hero Lives, but those were some blessed Generations Force Packs indeed. All right, now we are jumping into something pretty special, folks. First edition 5Ds Blister Packs. I know it might pain you guys to see me open these, some of you five, some of you, uh, well, five D's collectors, yeah, but blister collectors. But this is a very nostalgic set to me. I might have mentioned it a couple times on the channel, but the first time I got back into Yu Gi Oh! Kind of, uh, I didn't really play during GX, but I got back in during mid five D's or end, you could say. This was the first pack that I opened. It was also a blister pack, and I pulled my first ghost rare, the first five D's pack that I ever opened. Ever since then, I just fell in love. So can we do it again here today? Can we pull a Ghost Rare Odin? Ah, okay, unfortunately. That looked bendy. It looked like it could have been something. Still got three more packs to go, though, folks. Still have three more. Recently pulled a um, Legendary Six Samurai Shien on one of the most epic live streams. Make sure you guys check that out if you haven't. I'll leave a link to it. I know they were pretty long, but a little tip, guys. You could just put it in uh, two times speed. <laughs> Hold the phone. You definitely aren't going to want to go two times speed for this one. We have another ultimate rare, folks. I'm not even going to check what it is. We're just going from the back of right away. Not even going to check if it's a synchro or what it could be. Bloodsucker. And then, and then, just reminded me of uh, Dude, Where's My Car? A trap card, unfortunately. It is a Glepnir, the Fetters of Fenrir. One of those Nordic God cards, one of those Nordic God support cards. Not too shabby, oh, again, another ultimate rare, I'll take it. But come on, where's that first Synchro monster or Xyz monster? Well, I guess we don't really have a chance to pull any more Xyz monsters, but you know what I mean. Oh, look at that, I forgot. Some of them, they have these uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship series. Look, a free entry to a public event. I'm pretty sure that event has passed. Card expires July 1st, 2012. <laughs> It's probably a very common sight seeing promotions for things that are long gone. Here we go. Second last pack of Storm of Ragnarok. Can we pull one of those Nordic beasts or Nordic gods? Or dare I say, the king himself, Odin. Looks like it's a hollow. It is. It is, and it's a forbidden lance. This is actually a pretty good spell card, especially in first edition. I'll take that. Rocking the uh, small sleeves. I believe these are the 62 by 89 dimension. Ultra Pro Pro Fit, if you guys are interested. I know some, some people have always asked it. Asked it. <laughs> some people are always asking about those sleeves when I bust them out. I love them. A little bit better than, uh, not as bulky as uh, the bulk sleeves or penny sleeves. Here we go, guys. Last pack magic. Let's, uh, let's rub Odin's hand there for good luck. Whew, come on. Nordic God. Let's rev it up. I'm going to be opening up some D-Rev later on, so stay tuned for that. Come on. Okay, it doesn't look like an ulti, but it does look like a hollow. It's another spell card, though. Stardust Shimmer. Actually, I actually always forget about this card, but it's pretty cool artwork. It's just like the galaxy in the form of a stardust there. All right, that wraps up Storm of Ragnarok. The storm has ended. We are uh, entering the eye of the storm. I don't know. <laughs> but of course, you know, if we're going to be opening up an epic set like Duelist Revolution... We gotta have a yu gi -Oh mat change. Just a little something different that uh, yu gi -Oh brings to the table. Or that you get for yu gi -Oh openings. Again, if you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? It's actually gotten a lot better. It's not 40% uh, watchers unsubscribed anymore. But it's still like 35 or something. So if you aren't subscribed, you're just, you're depriving us all. There's our gold sark. You're depriving us all of some more epic openings. Like I said, first edition absolute power force box in less than 300 subscribers from now. And there's also gonna be a reveal. There's gonna be a special reveal at 3,000 subscribers. I'm gonna talk more about that in the upcoming live stream. So make sure you don't miss that. All right, here we go. Ooh. Folks, 
There's a reason why I'm going so crazy about a fusion monster in the hollow slot here. I believe there are some others in this set, but the ghost rare, ooh, scrap goblin, awesome card. The ghost rare is Draco Knight Equist, and he is a fusion monster, as you know. So here we go from the back ammo. Oh, I thought we were there. One more card. Delta Flyer. Awesome, awesome rare. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my... I cannot believe these every time I pull them. It doesn't get any different, guys. This is Ghost Rare number 20 pulled on the channel. I believe if you count those gold series ghost rares which i do because we pulled the blue eyes the pull card we did it we did it folks we pulled the dragon knight draco equist ghost rare the fusion of stardust dragon and junk warrior this is insane one of yusei's ace monsters it didn't get used too much in the anime look at that foiling it is so clean there actually is a couple of uh, very, very slight print lines, but you can barely see, like you can't even see them on screen. Oh my goodness. You guys didn't buy these. I've been advertising these for a while. That's on you folks. That's on you. Are you kidding me? Dragon Knight Draco Equist. <laughs> Duelist Revolution, eat your heart out. I've actually had some insane pulls from drev guys i have in my first special edition i've ever opened i pulled the ultimate rare solemn morning and pot of duality in the same special edition and now we pulled the only ghost rare fusion from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5ds <laughs> let's go let's rev it up folks just another week on yugi mosey i hope you guys are freaking enjoying this this is so awesome i am so jacked up are you kidding me? Naturia Beans. We pulled the beans there for sure. We have a Synchro Monster now. Okay. But this is a post-UDE and Konami split set. So it is not an Ultimate Rare. You would already see that Ultimate Rare border if it was. But here we go, guys. Another from the back of Mo. Back to back. Scrap Dragon. Oh, Thunder Unicorn, not bad, an ultra rare. This is a godly special edition, folks. Oh, this has been just insane, folks. An absolutely godly special edition. Oh, wow, insane, absolutely insane. Bicorn Rem, Rhino Taurus. I was hoping it was a Scrap Dragon there. A little throwback to Scraps. Oh, there we go, Scrap Beast. Staple, staple in the deck. Scraps were actually my first deck I ever used from uh, when I got back into it with 5Ds. Oh, are you kidding me, guys? Just another second to appreciate Dragon Knight Draco Equist. This is nuts. Now, you know what time it is, folks. We're not done. We still have this Raging Battle Special Edition display to crack. Check this out, folks. Little camera adjustment so you can see the full thing. Are you kidding me? We have already revved it to the max, but... Let's see, let's see if we got lucky again with some more first edition packs, folks. If you didn't know, first edition packs were not supposed to come in special editions, but Raging Battle was one of those special, special eds that had them occasionally. So here we go, guys, the reveal. Bailey's excited. That's not gonna stop me. The reveal. Oh, unfortunately, it does not look like we have. The dogs are happy, but they don't realize. They don't realize. Well, who knows? Here we go, guys. Let's see. Let's, there still might be some first ads coming up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. They are our first ads. Oh, my goodness. That is unexpected. I did not expect that when I didn't see any at the front there. Oh, and another one. And another one. Two. Okay, here we go. Big reveal, guys. Ah, oh, okay, that one's not. Oh, hold on, I'll, I'll readjust my angle here so you guys can see better. Okay, that one isn't. Unfortunately, we are two for three right now. Or sorry, two for five right now. Okay. Two for six. 
We'll go we'll go double reveal here. If I can not mess up the camera. Oh. Okay, I don't think that one is first dead, but I'm gonna have to double check. <laughs> it's a little pushed up, but two more unlimiteds. And yes, this one looks unlimited as well. Okay, two for ten. That's not bad. It's I've gone over ten as well, so that is not too shabby mo. You know what that means, folks. We're not done. We are gonna be opening up one of these first edition Raging Battle special editions. Alright, guys, you ready for this? Can we make this one of the most godly? No the most godly opening on YouTube. Surpassing my my own like battle against Ruxin34 where I pulled two Ghost Rare Galaxy Eyes. <laughs> little self plug there if you haven't seen that video. It was epic. But can we pull two Ghost Rare 5Ds cards in one opening? Find out this week on Allure of Darkness, not too shabby, mode. we'll take that. That's actually the best promo, unless of course you're talking about that Vice Dragon. But here we go, folks. Let's rev it up. First edition, first Hello. edition? First edition, Raging Battle. We have already pulled the Unlimited. Can we do it? Can we go and complete the set like we did with Galaxy Eyes and pull the first edition as well? There's only one way to find out. Quackimiru Guardian, Smorphtronic Scopin, Overdoom line, Emperor Sem, and it does not look like we started with a hollow there. Okay, all right. Saving the best for last. Maybe maybe some last pack magic, who knows? Mm. Here we go, come on. Raging battle, of course. You have some epic Earthbound Immortals in here. Also, uh, Trident Dragion. Some pretty cool Synchros in here like that, and uh, Exploder Dragon Wind. Those are some, some pretty cool uh, obscure ones. Natural Tune, one for one. It's a decent rare. And no hollow there. Come on, first dead raging battle. Is it asking too much to pull two ghost rares in another video? <laughs> no, this has been absolutely insane. Oh, here we have a security guard. Hopefully they're protecting some ghosties. Absolutely insane videos back to back. If you haven't seen the last video, the moldy video, make sure you check that out. Here we go. Atomic laser, Laval dragon. Urgent Synthesis, Quacky Mirror Doom, and Ojama Red. That's a decent rare, but we did not end off with a hollow with Raging Battle. Nonetheless, this has been one of the most epic openings recently on the channel. Even rivaled uh, the, the last one that we did where we pulled a spoiler alert, epic ultimate rare GX card. Make sure you check that one out if you haven't already. Here's a little recap of the day. Awesome Allura Darkness, super rare. Start a Shimmer, Forbidden Lance, Vision Hero Trinity. Guys, this opening was absolutely godly. Two ultra rares, Thunder Unicorn and a Madoche Pudding Sis. Our ulties, two ulties on the day. Unfortunately, a spell and a trap, but that was just spicing things up for the big boy. Dragon Knight, Draco Equest, another ghost rare on the channel, boys. Check it off. Just call me Dan Aykroyd, I'm out. Until next time, shout out to all the Amosterdamus tier members. Peace. Check one two one two. Mm, you eat my wop in the house.